seriously, and she loves to play tennis, and now she can't. Okay, she said 16-year-old girl? Yes. Okay. Uh, the sweat response is part of the stress response. It's one of the ways sweat is one of the ways the body gets rid of toxicity. So when, you ha when you're sweating a lot, you're either, either one or the other, a combination, actually, thereof. Uh, stress, there's a lot of stress going on. Something is burdening the body in combination with the uh, body attempting to detoxify itself. One of the ways the body gets rid of toxins is through the sweat. Ordinarily, kidney will process water-soluble toxins, uh, but... If the kidneys are overloaded, it's going to come out in the sweat. So whenever you have hyperhidresis, more than likely you're looking at the body attempting to get rid of toxicity that is burdening the system somehow. The system is being overloaded. So uh, what you want to look at is, you know, you're going to get, I, I hope you guys aren't getting sick of me saying this, that what is getting into the body that's burdening the body? What kind of toxicity is getting into the body that's causing the stress response and causing the sweat response? And guess what? It's not going to come from magical pixie dust. It's not going to come from little little elves that shoot arrows at you, even though that's what doctors of yore would tell you. It's going to come from something that is getting into the body over and over and over again chronically. Guess what that is? Food and the digestive system, maybe digestive breakdown. So what you want to do is you want to backtrack. Look for some food problems. Look for digestive problems. Look for problem foods, bowel movement issues, gas bloating, you know, all, the whole bit. You're almost guaranteed you're going to find that she has a history of digestive problems. Don't go by if she says, no, I don't have any digestive issues. She may not know it. She may just assume that how she's operating from a digestive sense is perfect and it's healthy. But it's not because she's got something that the body's trying to get rid of, and that means something's getting in. So she's got a food problem. She's got a digestive problem more than likely. got to focus there. Eliminate problem foods, step number one. Really, no matter what your health issue is, eliminate problem foods is always step number one. Step number two is, try, is start taking nutrients that strengthen and build and soothe and calm the digestive system, and there's lots of them. The Z-Radical is an amazing digestive support supplement, which we don't talk about anywhere near enough on this program. I, I, I've seen... The reason I talk about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine so much is because I've seen the results. I've seen the weight loss. I've seen the energy. I've seen the, the reversal of degenerative disease with my own eyes. Likewise with the Z-Radical. I've seen the results with the Z-Radical. Yes, you can go on Google and you can do searches for Fucoid, and you're going to find a lot of great literature that supports its use. But personally, I'm telling you with my own eyes, I have seen what this stuff can do for your digestive system. Get on this, have your friend or your, your client get on the Z-Radical uh, as well as the Bilumin Nightly Essence. Very important for the digestive health, the microbiome, the, the gut environment, the bacteria that live in the intestine, key players in digestive health and wellness. That's the Biolumin Nightly Essence. You might also want to have her using the Ultimate Enzymes after meals and apple cider vinegar after meals. And maybe if she has fat malabsorption problems, she may want to throw in some lecithin and some extra bile, B-I-L-E, bile salts. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine, if she's an athlete, can be very helpful because if she does have digestive problems, she may be not um, getting her the best benefit from the nutritional benefit from her foods and from her supplements. The BTT, because it's liquid, will go right to work, have her sip on it slowly, especially uh, use it after, before and after, and even during an athletic performance. Way better than Gatorade. If you know anybody out there who's using Gatorade, get them on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's a heck of a lot better, way more nutritionally valuable than any Gatorade or anything that you can get. Uh, over the counter or in a, in a grocery store. So have her on the BTT as well. Focus on problem foods. Get her on the BTT as well. And, and the Mighty 90 in general would be helpful. And then the Biolumin Nightly Essence and the Z-Radical. Maybe throw in some extra bile salts or lecithin and apple cider vinegar after meals. And then your second question was, uh, what was the second thing you said? I forgot already. Was it migraines? Ocular, yeah. They, the yes, little okay. Flashing. Okay, yeah. Ocular migraines are... Uh, or a short-acting migraine, which you get them for like an hour or half an hour or something? Half an hour, yeah. Half an hour, yeah. The, uh, my, ocular migraine is a short-acting migraine headache. Uh, it, it folk, the name ocular comes from the fact that uh, it can cause, uh, it can be associated with flashing lights or, or blindness even. Uh, some people will get vision loss. And there's a football player named Terrell Davis, actually, who, who had ocular uh, migraines. He got one in the Super Bowl. And they, if there's a famous story where they use him as a decoy in the Super Bowl. They kind of gave him a, a little fake handoff, and he couldn't see anything. Uh, and it ended up just being a fake. They used him as a decoy and ended up winning the game. But it's kind of an interesting story because this poor football player never associated his migraine headaches with anything that was getting into his system. Migraine headaches, whether they're retinal migraine or ocular migraine or any other migraine, is a dramatic sign of a body in distress. 
Something is getting into the body that's causing a major stress. And again, almost always going to be food. There's a very important link between foods and migraine headaches. Just like with your, with your other client, link the migraines to problem foods. Secondly, you want to get on nutrients that help support the nervous system. Uh, there's a relationship between the nervous system and the circulatory system. And once that relationship breaks down, once there's a, some kind of defect in that, either in uh, neural processing, nerve processing, or cer- in the circulatory system, somewhere in, in that area between the nerves and the blood, that's where you get this opening and closing of blood vessels, this inappropriate opening and closing of blood vessels that causes the migraine headaches. So migraine headaches, number one, focus on stresses that are getting into the body. Number two, focus on nerve nutrients, especially water-soluble nutrients like the B-complex, and then fat-soluble nutrients like essential fatty acids, the EFAs. Again, Get your client on the Healthy Start Pack. uh, Focus on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Have your client sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You may also want to use the digestive support, the Biolumin Nightly Essence and uh, the Z-Radical and the Ultimate Enzymes and all the things that you, all the longevity products that uh, are helpful for digestion. So for migraine headaches, you're going to look at, once again, problem foods, and then you're going to focus on digestive support and then using electrical nutrients, especially the B-complex and electrolytes, potassium, magnesium, and calcium and chloride. You get all those in vegetable juices, too. In addition to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, using vegetable juices can sometimes help, although some people will react to vegetables. So you've got to be careful there, too. Does that help you, ma'am? The, yes, it does. Does the kelp toddy, does that, is that gluten-free? You know, I'm pretty sure it is, but I don't want to swear to that. Let me look into that for you. I don't know that for a fact. I'm pretty sure it is. I'll, I'll get that information for you, and I'll, I'll tell you about that tomorrow. Okay, Cal Toddy. Uh, I'll find out if Cal Toddy's gluten-free. Got to move. Uh, Kyle Ann, thanks so much for your call and your kind words. We're going to take a break and come back with more phone calls. 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll be back right after this. You have all seen and heard about the elements of the periodic table. These elements are the building blocks of everything in the universe. You, my friends, are made from these elements. A shortage of any of these important trace elements can lead to disease. Go with the science and take the Lady Talk Health Challenge and get all 90 essential trace elements with a healthy start pack at LadyTalkLive.com or call 855-333-LADY. That's 855-333-5239. Research shows it's not just what you put in your body that counts, it's what you put on it as well. Why not use an all-natural, healthy, mineral-based makeup that actually benefits your skin? Once you experience the airiness and flawless coverage of Longevity Mineral Makeup, you will never use anything else. With Longevity, the perception of your complexion will be natural perfection. Animal-friendly mineral makeup at Mary Lou Health. That's M-A-R-I-L-U Health dot com. Or call 855-321-HEALTH. So my elementary school-aged child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research. It makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. If you own a business, you need customers, right? Well, your potential customers are listening to this radio program right now, and I can help you reach them. Hi, I'm Matt Brower, a national marketing executive at the radio network responsible for this program. I can help you customize a national radio campaign that fits your budget, large or small, while targeting your specific audience. Contact me to learn how radio advertising can make your business more profitable. M-B-R-O-W-E-R at GCNlive.com. That's mbrower at GCNlive.com. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the total transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. 
Limited number of free programs available. Call now. 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are Cheese. Welcome back to the bright side. Let's go off to Virginia. Welcome, Dave. What's going on, Dave? Good morning. Good morning, Ben. I'm going to have surgery for a umbilical hernia in a few weeks, and I was wondering what supplements you Good could question. recommend. That's a great question. There are wonderful supplements to take. In fact, that's the, I don't want to say the best time, but it's one of the best times to make sure that you're supplementing before surgery and after surgery. The healing process begins as soon as the surgeon cuts into your flesh. That's when the healing process begins. So if you're loaded up with nutrients, you're going to heal much faster. You're going to get a much better prognosis from your surgery. And there's lots of good nutrients to take. Probably the first one I would think about is not really a nutrient. That's digestive enzymes. Taking digestive enzymes ahead of time can help reduce swelling and inflammation. And certainly taking digestive enzymes post-surgery can be very helpful for reducing swelling and inflammation. And all of that can have a negative effect on, on how well you heal and how fast you heal. So using digestive enzymes is very important. I'd be loading up on vitamin C. I'd be taking probably 5,000 milligrams a day minimum. Make sure you're sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, of course. That'll get you 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C and all your basic, most of your basic nutrients. Vitamin K can be very helpful. Uh, you can use vitamin K two ways. Taking vitamin K internally uh, before surgery and it can help pre- prevent bruising or, or reduce bruising. Uh, your doctor might not like that because vitamin K may affect how well that your uh, may have an effect on the, the anti-clotting medicine, or I'm sorry, on the clotting medicine that they give you, uh, the heparin and the, uh, the anticoagulants, anti-clotting medicine, the heparin and the warfarin. Vitamin K is a pro-clotting vitamin. Uh, however, vitamin K is an anti-bruising vitamin, and it can reduce the effects of bruising. So personally, if it was me, I would be taking uh, my vitamin K, 5,000 or so micrograms a day of vitamin K. Vitamin K2 is your best form of vitamin K. Again, that can uh, speed up the healing process and reduce bruising associated with with surgery. You can use vitamin K topically as well. If you get a vitamin K cream, a 5% topical vitamin K cream, you can either make your own uh, or you can, uh, by crushing up some vitamin K and putting it in a cream, or you can have a compounding pharmacist make it for you. You can also, by putting it right on top of the area that they're going to cut, you can also improve bruising or reduce bruising, uh, especially, uh, especially if you're having cosmetic surgery. If you're having plastic surgery, that might be really helpful for you. But for you, uh, Dave, putting a little vitamin K cream may reduce the bruising topically as well as taking vitamin K internally. I'd be using topical vitamin A if I was interested in, in supporting healing, as well as making sure I got internal vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day internally. Using Retin-A cream can improve the healing, the topical healing of the skin that is going to be cut. Uh, let's see what else. Vitamin E may help, although bl- vitamin E, again, your doctor might not like that because vitamin E has some blood thinning properties. Uh, but still, vitamin E can be very helpful for accelerating the healing process. 400 international units of vitamin E taken before as well as after. Make sure absolutely positively that you're getting enough protein. You can't heal without protein. After you, uh, after you have a surgical procedure, your body is burning through protein. 
So making sure you're using whey protein, especially the amino acid arginine can be helpful for wound healing. Same with the amino acid glutamine, which we spent so much time talking about. Glutamine and arginine, whey protein, those can all be important in making sure that you're absorbing those nutrients using the digestive enzymes and apple cider vinegar after you take your protein. That can also be helpful. And then last but most certainly not least, essential fatty acids are very important for helping rebuild the extracellular matrix. That's the stuff that the cells are sitting inside after you have surgery. The body breaks down.